Hello there, welcome back guys. Welcome back to a brand new video of Mighty Host Tag YouTube channel. So guys, this video will be the third part of Cypress Test Automation Playlist. So in this video, I am going to show you the configuration of Cypress JSON file, which we saw in the last video. And I will suggest to check out that earlier uploaded video so that you can continue with this video. So let's begin. Right now on the screen, you will able to see I open the official page of Cypress Test Automation Framework. And from this home page, we have to redirect over the Cypress config page. So from this home page, we have to click on the dock button. And once you click on the dock button, in the left side, you will able to see the sidebar. Then we have to click on the reference. Once you click on the reference, the more option will be visible to you. And lastly, click on the configuration. Now this navigation will end up with you on the configuration of cypress.json file. Now first as a part of learning, you will have to read all this stuff and then move further. But as a part of demonstration, I will explain some important points from this cypress.json file and which will be going to use in the, our next videos. And the rest of the things we will check out later. Alright. Let's have a look into the different option which is provided in the cypress.json. So here, first we have the base URL, which is used to add visit URL and the request URL. So add this into the single cypress.json file. So right now, on the visual code editor, I already open I already opened the cypress.json file. Here you have to add as a key value there. So the base URL should be right here and the URL which we want to test. In this case, I will add the local URL where my project is running. So my project is running on the localhost 4204. So I will copy that and paste over here. Okay. Now before going to save, I just wanted to demonstrate you how this base URL is going to work. So for that, I am going to run the cypress runner is npx cypress open and once you enter it will be just uh, open the runner in just a minute that should not be take much time all right cypress runner is open successfully now this is the runner which is called in the cypress world okay now here we are able to see the some of the test cases which are already available and these are available only for the demonstration you can understand how they are uh, written and how, what are the standards way to write we will look all this into the upcoming videos for this video for today's video let's open the single test when i click on this test it is going to open the edge browser okay and inside the edge it's going to execute the test which you can see yeah it is testing right now and all those six test cases are executed successfully now now well, now one question comes into mind that when i click on the test how this is going to redirect over here so for that let me open that file it is under the integration it is under the get started and this is the one file. Now right now don't look into the code standard how they are written. Just uh, focus on this line number 20. This is the line of code which is executing whenever the single test case getting hit. So it is uh, written inside the before each. This is some sort of life cycle you can say that we will see all this in future as well. So don't need to worry. Now suppose I am going to remove this. I just wanted to show you the base URL working and now I am going to save and also wanted to replace this base local base URL with this. Even before uh, even before saving the cyclet.json let's see how it's going to impact on the 
test case. Let me close this one. And again, I wanted to click on the to do spec. Now, see, when I click on, see, it is a not redirecting over the actual path, which is given. So, that is why we require the base UI. Now, again, I am going to save this. And let's check again. It is a rebuilding. Yeah. Now, it should be worked as required. Yeah. We can see that it is a redirected over the actual path. So, this is what we wanted to understand from the base UI. So, base URL as per the name, it is a work as the main URL. Now I am going to close this tab. Now we don't require all these optional test files. Okay. Before that, let me undo the local path. I am going to save. Once I save this, the thing is going to work over here. And also, I don't wanted this file to visible here. So for that, we require the another. Key which is available in cypher.json you can easily find so that should be over here yeah ignore test files let me copy and also you can see the reference which is available over here by clicking on this yeah over here is the folder structure and how we are going to ignore that is completely given over here you can also reference that so for right now to ignore such file I will simply paste the ignore test file now let me copy this one so what it will do it will simply ignore all this JS file from here let's check now yeah see right now it says no files found okay so we don't require such thing what we will do, what we will do, we will simply write the folder name. Getting started and slash. Yeah, this should be fine. Yeah, see, a single folder is getting in. Now, how we are going to add the second? If you think that you will copy this key and again going to paste over here. But this is not going to work in this scenario. For well, multiple keys should not be available in JSON. That is the standard rule. For that, just you have to write whatever you wanted to ignore in the inside the array. Okay. So I will going to copy this again and just going to paste over it. Now require the folder name. Let me copy that and simply paste. Okay. The comma should not be over here. Now let me click on try again. All right. So both folders are getting ignored. Now we require to create our own test file. So I will give name as a first test dot spec dot spec is required to understand it is a test file as per the standard so once i created this spec file you will able to see over here okay so whenever you are going to click on this it will not going to redirect anything or not going to perform any action because we didn't Return any code inside that. So, in the next video, we will see what are the standard way to write the test cases. So, we are able to configure the required keys in the cypress.json, which is enough for this video. So, guys, in the upcoming videos, we will understand the writing test cases flow and will write our first test spec file. So this is it for this video, I am going to signing out, stay safe, stay healthy, bye.